Hello and welcome to the QuickSchools.com Student Module Quick Guide. In this video, we'll be going over the students page, how to import students, how to add students manually, student records, and finally, how to run student reports. To get started, you can access the students page in the navigation bar at the top of the site. Just a quick note, unlike other modules that you have to activate, the students module is required for every other module, so it comes pre-activated. Let's go to the students page now. Now that we're on the students page, we can see a list of all the students at our school. Right now we can only see 10 rows of students, which is the default view. To change that, we can click the gear icon in the bottom left. You can choose how many rows you'd like to display, from 10 to 100, to any number you choose. Since our school has more students than can fit on one page, Quick Schools divides them into pages. To navigate from page to page, just scroll down to the bottom and click which page you'd like to go to. But for now, let's sort the students. Both the student and grade and homeroom teachers columns can be sorted in alphabetical or reverse alphabetical order by clicking on their column titles. But what if you need to remove a student? Simply click the box to the left of the student you'd like to remove, and then click the box in the header. From here, you can select all visible students, clear your selection, mark the selected students as graduated, expelled, or simply left the school. You can also delete a record if need be. To manually add a student, click the Add Student button. From here, we can enter in all the relevant data for a new student record. First, we enter in the student's full name. Make sure to enter your student's last name first, if you would like to sort your students by last name instead of first. Next, we enter the student's preferred name. After that, we select the student's birth date. You can either type in the birth date or select it manually below the field. From there, you can select gender, nationality, grade, and homeroom teacher. You can fill in any additional student information in the remaining fields. Click Save, and we have our new student record. Let's find that student now. To search for a student, type their name into the search box on the top right and either click on the magnifying glass icon or hit enter. Once we've located the student record in our search results, click anywhere on their row to bring up their student record. Here on the student record, you can see all the information we entered in previously. You can upload a photo for the student by clicking the Upload Photo button directly underneath the student's profile picture. Simply choose the picture and click Open. Parents and students can also change their profile pictures if your school allows it. Next, let's take a look at the Subjects panel. From here, we can enroll the student in any subject available to them. To do so, just click the Edit link to the left of the Subjects panel. Now we can see which subjects our student is currently enrolled in and which subjects we can enroll him in. Since our student is in 5th grade, we automatically see 5th grade subjects he can be enrolled in. Let's enroll our student in Science by clicking the Enroll link. Now he's enrolled in science. To unenroll a student, simply click the unenroll link. Click OK to exit back to the student record and save your changes. You can also change the student's enrollment in your school, just like on the student's page, through the Actions button. In addition to the previous options mentioned, you can also set a date for a student to leave. Just type in or select a date and hit Enter or click Save. Below the student's basic information are several menu options. First, we can note whether or not the student has siblings. To add a sibling, just start typing the sibling's name. For the Parent Siblings tab, you can add a parent or guardian. From here, you can add in the parent or guardian's information. Much like we entered in the student's information, you can also select the specific relationship the parent or guardian has to the student in the top right. You can enter in a separate address for the parent or guardian, or you can just click the Use Student Address option to automatically use the home address entered for the student. Below that, you can select Communication Preferences and whether or not the adult is approved to pick up the student and if they are an emergency contact. You can add in additional parental information as well below. Depending on what modules your school has activated, you can see details on the student such as their grades or attendance. Under the Medical tab, you can note any medical conditions about the student. From here, we can note medical conditions and needs, allergies, and any additional medical information. Finally, there are custom fields that you can enter for your students. Each custom field you add will show up on every student's record, so make sure to add in custom fields that work for all your students. 
Let's add in a custom field now. Click the Add Custom Field button below your custom fields to add in a new custom field. To change the field, click the area around the field's name. You can remove a custom field by clicking the red X to the left of the custom field's name. Let's give our student an instrument. And then save all of our changes by either typing Control and S or hitting Save. We hope you enjoyed this quick guide. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us by either using the live chat bubble in the bottom right of your screen or emailing us at support at quickschools.com.